Gaza, Gaza, don't you cry. Palestine will never die. Gaza, Gaza, don't you cry. Palestine will never die. Well, we're heartbroken over the ongoing genocide in Gaza, um, as well as the repression of Palestinians um, throughout occupied Palestine um, since 1948. Um, there you know, colonial occupation is never okay, apartheid is never okay, and since October 7th we've seen a massive escalation in violence um, with the number of political prisoners doubled, um, as well as thousands of people killed. I'm just very deeply troubled by our country supporting and giving money to just destruction and disaster for, you know, what, 7,000 Gazians have been killed by the bomb? You know, and so I'm not here supporting Hamas. I don't like violence of any kind, but it's the response to that should not be what's happening now. The response should be, now, what is the problem that's causing us? Let's go and let's deal with the root causes, which is all these years of oppression, crowding people into Gaza, just the, the way they're treated on a daily basis. I've been there. I've worked in Palestine with a peace group. Basically what we've been witnessing over the past 75 years is an act of ethnic cleansing that has taken up, that has been intensified over the past few weeks. I think the death toll of Palestinians over these past few weeks is up in the 7,000s. And recently 1.5 million Palestinians were displaced from their homes because it was bombarded by Israel Defense Forces, which are disproportionately funded by the U.S. Empire. I came here to just kind of stand in opposition to it. Um, I was hoping there would be a bigger group of people uh, with the other point of view, but I wanted to be here to support the people yes! who are here. I support Israel, and obviously I don't want civilians to die. Nobody wants civilians to die, but I definitely don't at all agree with what Hamas has done. I think they're a disgusting terrorist organization. And I recognize that Hamas doesn't represent all of Palestine, but when people are chanting things like, from the river to the sea, Israel will be free, the river to the sea is the entirety of Israel, so what do they want to happen to the Jews when they're saying things like, Israel has got to go? That's really disturbing because those are genocidal statements.